Let's say you have an object that you want to make a 3D model of. Well, this tutorial will show you how to automatically build a 3D model for free from photos using photogrammetry. No art skills required. To take the photos of your object, you'll need a reasonably clear area and a table or box to put the object on. Close the curtains in the room to block out any strong sunlight and turn off any other distracting lights that may be present in the room. Take photos of the object so that you capture images of it from all directions. The easiest way to do this is to take photos in one or more rings around the object. Take small steps between each photo so that there's a good amount of overlap between each photo and make sure that the object you're taking photos of is fully in focus and takes up a good portion of the frame. For this object, I've taken a ring of photos at mid-level, a higher level ring, and a few extra photos to cover the top. I've also taken a ring of photos at a lower level to capture any parts hidden by the arms. Once you have your photos, it's time to load them into your photogrammetry software. For this tutorial, head over to the Beholder website and open a free account. The free account gives you 100 credits a month, which is enough to build a couple of models each month. Create a project for your object and give it a suitable name. Then, find the photos on your computer and drag them into the UI to upload them. If you took the photos with your mobile phone, then you can also upload them through Beholder's mobile web interface, but I'd recommend that you only do this if you're on Wi-Fi or have a good amount of mobile data. When the photos have uploaded, the Align Images button will switch to active. Click it and then click OK in order to start the Align Images job. Aligning images can take a while to complete, so click on Email me when the job is complete and go grab a coffee. When the Align Images job is complete, you should see a point cloud for the object along with the calculated camera poses for each of the images. The pose of the recovered point cloud can sometimes be a bit awkward, so if that's the case, use the Move and Rotate tool to move the point cloud to the origin and to give it a useful orientation. If this looks good, then you can now move on to constructing the mesh. If the point cloud only contains the object you want, then just click on Construct Mesh. If the point cloud contains parts of the background that you want to cut out, such as the table, then click on the Add Bounding Box button and then position the bounding box so that it only contains part of the object that you're interested in. Once the bounding box is set up, click on Construct Mesh, click OK, and then wait for the mesh to build. Like alignment, this step can take some time. And there you go. Once mesh construction is complete, you should have a textured mesh that you can use for your projects. Click on the download button to get the mesh in a format that's useful for you.